everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Tabitha with Moonlight Custom Creations and today I'm gonna show you how to do a Michael Myers tumbler I'm so excited so what I have here is a 30 ounce skinny um, I have already sanded it down and painted it white we I already have my images cut out as well so we're going to apply those images and I just have a few things right here and also a saying right here you can't kill the boogeyman and then we're also going to do blood spatter it's going to be amazing I can't wait so let's go ahead and get started all right so with these images I want them to look like a burnt piece of paper I printed this out just on my regular printer and then I'm going to burn the edges so what you're going to need is a lighter of some sort um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to tear uh, as close as I can to the edge here Now that we have that, toss that over to the side here. We're gonna take our lighter and then we're literally just going to burn like little sections at a time and also putting it out as soon as it gets lit. So I'm gonna start right up here at the corner. So burn. mess out of my area kind of clean that whoops sorry y'all kind of clean that up a little bit as good as we can I'll just grab my little vacuum in here vacuum that up sorry if that was too loud okay get the excess off they're all over me you know fun times how do I get mod podge on I swear I'm so messy all right now I'm not sure if I want to use the um, other newspapers because I want to put my image like this I want to put it on my image like this and the saying on the other side and then I thought about placing like newspaper clippings around that so I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly what we're going to be doing here but we're just gonna go for it I'm going to go ahead and rip these up and um, do that as well. wiggle these around there we go I'm making a mess this is so messy but I absolutely love the way it looks so just try to figure out a little bit of a placement here before we just start slapping this stuff on I got myself a little towel here. So we want Michael to be here. And then I could do 
that right there. And like say this is the back side. I'm gonna have that. I could also do like that. And then that. And then blood splatters. I think that will look really good. Okay. So let's get this stuff on. Uh-oh. Losing my pieces. Okay. So we want to make sure the surface is clean of everything. Doesn't have anything on there. And what we'll be using is our Mod Podge to put it on. I like to use gloss. You can get this anywhere. Um, I think I got this one from the Dollar Tree. You can get it from Walmart, Amazon. These are just the little containers that they have at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then I have a old makeup brush here that I just used to apply it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to coat right in through here with Mod Podge. And then I like to coat the back with Mod Podge. So we get a little bit on our And then we're just going to coat the back as well. Okay. Right, grab our image. Place it down where we want it and then just smooth that out. Okay. Oh, in my hair and my pod. <clears throat> I think that looks so cool. I'm so excited for that. Now I'm just going to set it up and see what we're working with here. Okay. Now we have the saying for the back. Yeah, I think that looks really good. So... We're going to put the saying on. Okay. If you can't kill the boogeyman, we're going to make sure we have it centered. And exactly where we want to put it. I kind of flex it like this a little bit to kind of make like a little center spot. And then I can place it on the tumbler. So make sure we're nice and center and we are straight. And then you just kind of roll it on the sides like there. Just like that. There we go. kind of rub it down make sure everything's sticking and then you want to slowly slowly peel it up just make sure everything sticks where it's supposed to be sticking put that back 
I'm just going to press on the letters just to make sure they are down. Okay. And then this is the starting of the other side. So this is what our tumbler looks like so far. Looks good. I like it. So now we're going to put the other two newspaper clippings onto our tumbler. So we'll figure out where exactly we want to put it. So I think I want to put one on top. And then one on the bottom here, like them going opposite ways too. Okay, so I'm going to put this one right here at the bottom with his face. Okay, I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on the back here. And then we're just going to slap it on there. So... Now, this is what we have so far. I really feel like I need something at the top here. I think it would look really, really good. I like little specks here. I don't like that. Um, I think it would look good if I had... Where did that other piece go? Like this, right up top. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So let's go back to burning paper. I want the top of the newspaper clipping to be at the top of my cup. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna burn that just a little bit. You gotta be really, really careful with this hood. Yeah. Cause I definitely just burned almost the off. I think that kind of completes the look a little bit. Having that on top. And then we got the couple of clippings on the back, the saying, and then we're also going to do a blood splatter all over the cup. But first, I'm going to take my Mod Podge and seal the outside of the paper. So you just want to take some on your cup and then just go over. A generous coat on. The Mod Podge will dry clear. So, and then same with the larger images on the front. Just going to make sure all of this is sealed very well. Next step is to let this dry and obviously clean up my workspace and then we can move on to the blood splatter. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will be right back and I will show you how I do my blood splatters. Okay, this is all dry now and we're actually in my garage where I do my epoxy. So. And that's why we're going to do this splatter because I really don't want to get it on my floors in the house or anywhere else. So I got some Arteza acrylic paint. This is the crimson red, um, a little paintbrush right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this in the paint and I'm going to take my gloved finger here. You see, I've been spray painting and I'm going to go like this all over the cup. 
to give it that blood splatter effect. So mix this up, get it all over the end of my bristles, and then I'm going to wipe it. So I wish I had a stiffer brush that would probably work a little bit better, but here goes nothing. this dry and then we can go to epoxy all right guys it's a couple days later and it's done I am absolutely obsessed with this tumbler right here oh my goodness Oh, look how gorgeous this thing is. This thing is. I can't even speak. I'm speechless. I absolutely love it. Um, I ended up doing like three coats of epoxy on it to get it nice and smooth because of the blood splatter and everything. But oh my gosh. I still have to clean up the rim a little bit. But this bad boy... I'm obsessed. I absolutely love it. And I had so much fun doing this. I want to make more. So many more. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.